Good evening, everyone. Uh, thanks for coming to attend this uh, particular Cafe Scientific. Uh, this scientific, Cafe Scientific is hosted by the Canadian Longitudinal Study on Aging, as uh, we like to call it affectionately CLSA. You probably heard about, you, about this study because many of you in this room are also the participants of the study. So I would like to actually thank all those people who are here who are participating in the study and uh, providing some really good data that will allow us to answer some of the most important questions that uh, will be coming up in relation to the aging. I am Dr. Praminder Reyna. I'm the lead principal investigator of the study. And uh, for the next two hours, I'm going to be David Letterman. So I'm going to be your host. Uh, my job is to help guide you through an informal discussion on the topic of the brain health. And just to give a sense that uh, tonight's lecture or tonight's session is actually not a lecture. It's a more of an opportunity for all of us to have a discussion. We will have some speakers here uh, who will give some or share their expertise or their experiences and their knowledge and hopefully as part of the second half of the evening that many of you will engage in the discussion and from that discussion we will learn from each other issues around a healthy brain. So before we begin, I would like to thank the Canadian Institutes for Health Research for sponsoring uh, tonight's event. Canadian Institute of Health Research is a funding agency in Canada that funds most of the health research in this country and especially the CIHR Institute of Aging that has made this event possible tonight. I would also like to welcome our experts to the stage, Dr. Allison Secular, Dr. Kathy Bigira filler and Dr. Christopher Patterson. And each member of our panel brings a wealth of knowledge in the area of brain health. And I would also like to recognize the CLSA participants, as I said earlier, who are in attendance uh, uh, this evening. And uh, we've had a, quite a few requests for people to attend this evening. So we have a very large group. Traditionally, these, these sessions uh, manage around 50 people, and we are close to 100 or 120 people. So we will appreciate your participation tonight and have active discussion. And uh, finally, I would like to also extend a warm welcome to Anne Swift. She's uh, back there from the Alzheimer's Society of Hamilton Halton. Anne has joined us during the busiest time of the year for her organization because January is Alzheimer's Awareness Month. So Anne, thank you for being here and bringing some resources along with for, for people to have access to that information. So the title of tonight's cafe is Use It or Lose It, Secrets of a Healthy Brain. Over the next two hours, the discussion will focus on what we can do to help things go right as we age. We'll take a closer look at what the research says, says about maintaining function and protecting against cognitive de decline as we age. We also will look at the mind-body connection. After all, keeping our minds sharp is influenced by many factors, influencing our lifestyle, our behavior, our biology. So healthy aging has become a hot topic these days as you know, one in five people will be over the age of 65. So all of us are interested in knowing how we will age in a healthier way for a long period of time. And, and not just among baby boomers, but the research community as well. Here at McMaster and at other universities across the country, researchers are turning their attention to better understand the aging process. And it's a timely issue, as I said, that Canada is ahead of the curve when it, when it comes to the aging of a population. As a nation, we know have higher proportion of seniors than ever before. The number of centenarians, people over the age of 100 is also on the rise. So it is an important issue that, that uh, we are all collectively as a society uh, trying to understand and, and live in a healthy fashion as long as we can. 
But we all know aging well is not just about living longer, it's all about living better. And health research, the type of work we are doing here at McMaster and other institutions across the country, will help us provide a roadmap how we do that. And as I mentioned in my earlier remarks, that one of the major research projects that is happening at McMaster and collaborates with many institutions across the country is the Canadian Longitudinal Study on Aging. And this is a study which we will be collecting data for the next 20 years. So we will be following 50,000 men and women between the ages of 45 and 85 for the next 20 years. So we want to understand the aging and the aging process from cell to society. So how our biology and how we relate to our social environment, our lifestyle, our behavior affects how we age and age in a healthy way. It's not about just how we age, our body ages in a healthy way, but also how it impacts our brain and, and healthy brain. Here in the Hamilton area, we are going to be recruiting more than 6,000 people as part of the study. And some of you who have already started, contributed and given your time to provide data for this study have already visited this building and we have a data collection site here where we collect a fair bit of data on each and every individual who comes in. And in addition to the Canadian Longitudinal Study on Aging here at McMaster, we are also uh, taking a leadership role in whole issue of aging and health. And one of the areas that we are uh, leaders, McMaster has been leaders in many ways, and we want to take that to the area of aging is that what we already know from research, how do we get that out to citizens, to clinicians, and policymakers to change the lives of people who are going to be seniors of tomorrow or seniors today? And information is generated all the time, but getting information in the hands of people to, to make the changes that are needed is critical. And you probably, some of you heard that recently there was a very large donation given to McMaster University by McMaster alumni Suzanne Labarge, who gave $10 million to the university to establish the McMaster Optimal Aging Initiative. As part of that gift, uh, we're beginning to develop a portal or web-based information system that is intended to become Canada's authoritative voice on aging. That means that all the research that is done in that area, we will collate it, we will rate it, and we will make sure that it gets in the hands of the people. So many of you, there is a information sheet at the back. You can fill out and we will keep you on the roster as we generate information. We sort of communicate with you how to access that information. So if you are interested in learning in any of these things that are happening at McMaster, we will be here at the end of the session and during the coffee break, please stop us and we'll be more than happy to answer any other questions for you. Now, before I introduce our first speaker, let me provide a brief overview of the evening's format. The first hour will begin with short presentations from each one of our panelists. Our experts will speak from 10 minutes each on a topic of, topic of their choosing. And you'll see that there are no props, no slides, or anything of that sort. They are just going to talk as we are having a conversation in a coffee shop. That's the whole idea. So it is an informal discussion that they are going to sort of set the stage for that. They will outline some of the major ideas and pose questions that will help us generate group discussion later on. And, and from your point of view, as you hear these topics, I hope many ideas get to percolate in your minds. And when we come back after the break, we will have an hour to have a discussion with all the pa panelists and other people in the room.